Menelik II was one of the most important and influential leaders in Ethiopian history. He was the emperor of Ethiopia from 1889 until his death in 1913 and was known for his successful military campaigns, his efforts to modernize Ethiopia, and his diplomatic skills. In this video, we will explore the life and legacy of Emperor Menelik Aydin, focusing on his military campaigns, his efforts to modernize Ethiopia, and his role in Ethiopian diplomacy, early life, and rise to power. Menelik was born in 1844 in the town of Ankober, which was then the capital of the Shewa kingdom. He was the son of Hale Melikot, the king of Shewa, and his mother was Wizero Ejigayehu. Menelik was educated by the Ethiopian Orthodox Church and became proficient in Jiez, the ancient liturgical language of Ethiopia. In 1865, Menelik was declared king of Shewa by his father, who had become ill. Menelik quickly set about consolidating his power in Shewa, and by 1878, he had established himself as the dominant force in the region. He also began to expand his influence beyond Shewa, forming alliances with other Ethiopian rulers and gaining control over strategic trade routes. Military campaigns. Menelik is perhaps best known for his military campaigns, which helped to expand Ethiopian territory and consolidate his power. His most famous military victory came in 1896 when he defeated the Italian army at the Battle of Adwe. The Italians had been attempting to colonize Ethiopia, and the Battle of Adwa was a major setback for their colonial ambitions. In the lead-up to the battle, Menelik had formed alliances with other Ethiopian rulers and had built up a well-equipped army. He also had access to modern weaponry, including rifles and artillery, which he had acquired through trade with European powers. On the day of the battle, Menelik's army surprised the Italian forces with a series of well-coordinated attacks. The Italians were forced to retreat, and Menelik emerged as a hero in Ethiopia and across Africa. Menelik's military campaigns were not limited to Ethiopia. In 1889, he led a campaign against the Somali tribes in the Ogaden region, which resulted in Ethiopian control over the area. He also led campaigns against the Oromo people in the late 1880s and early 1890s, which helped to establish Ethiopian control over much of southern Ethiopia. Efforts to Modernize Ethiopia Menelik was also committed to modernizing Ethiopia, both militarily and economically. He recognized the importance of education and encouraged the establishment of schools throughout the country. He also established the country's first modern hospital and encouraged the development of other modern infrastructure, including roads, telegraphs, and postal services. Menelik was particularly interested in modernizing Ethiopia's military. He recognized the importance of modern weaponry and established an arms industry in Ethiopia, which produced rifles and ammunition. He also modernized the country's military organization, creating a professional standing army that was equipped with modern weaponry. Menelik's efforts to modernize Ethiopia were not without controversy, however. Some Ethiopians saw his efforts to modernize the country as a threat to traditional Ethiopian culture and values. Menelik was also criticized for his reliance on foreign advisors and experts, who were often Europeans. Diplomacy Menelik was a skilled diplomat and played an important role in Ethiopian foreign relations. He was particularly adept at navigating the complex power dynamics of the region, and he was able to establish alliances with other African powers, including Sudan and Egypt. Menelik was also able to negotiate favorable treaties with European powers. In 1897, he negotiated the Treaty of Addis Ababa with Italy, which recognized Ethiopian sovereignty and ended Italy's attempt to colonize Ethiopia. Menelik also negotiated treaties with other European powers, including France and Great Britain, which helped to establish Ethiopia as a recognized power in the region. Menelik's diplomacy was not without controversy, however. Some Ethiopians criticized him for making concessions to European powers and for relying too heavily on foreign advisors and experts. Menelik's diplomacy also brought Ethiopia into conflict with neighboring powers, including Sudan and Somalia which would continue to be sources of tension in the region for decades to come, is remembered as one of the most important and influential leaders in Ethiopian history. His military campaigns helped to expand Ethiopian territory and establish the country as a recognized power in the region. His efforts to modernize Ethiopia helped to lay the groundwork for the country's development in the 20th century, and his diplomatic skills helped to navigate the complex power dynamics of the region and secure Ethiopia's sovereignty in the face of European colonialism. Menelik's legacy is still felt in Ethiopia today.
His contributions to the country's development are celebrated, and his victories in battle continue to inspire pride and national identity. However, Menelik's legacy is also controversial. Some Ethiopians criticize him for his reliance on foreign advisors and experts, and for his perceived threats to traditional Ethiopian culture and values. Emperor Menelik I was a complex and influential leader in Ethiopian history. His military campaigns, efforts to modernize Ethiopia, and diplomatic skills helped to shape the country's development and establish it as a recognized power in the region. While his legacy is still debated and contested, Menelik's contributions to Ethiopian history and culture cannot be ignored.